Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shubham Oja and today we are going to talk about automotive cyber security. It's one of the most demanding video on my channel and a lot of people ask me about the cyber security and what are the cyber security norms that are we are going to see in future. So after 2025, we are going to see a majority of automotive industry working in this sector and there would be a high demand of automotive security as we are moving toward connected vehicle, a dash vehicle as well as different kind of technologies that are evolving. A lot of people have asked me to basically divide all these kind of topics in several videos because they find it boring and it basically deviated when I talked about these kind of technology for 14 to 15 minutes. So I tried to basically divide this video in three parts. If in first part we will discuss about why we need cyber security. After that, we will discuss about what are the steps as well as the development phase of the cyber security in the automotive field. In the third one, we will discuss about the lifetime security as well as whenever there is a change in owner, how automotive industry is going to tackle that. So it would be a three part video. Hope you will like it. And if you have any feedback, feel free to comment down below. So first we will move into why we need cyber security. So if you are moving towards a future of automotive industry, we are going to see three, uh, you can say four major, uh, you can say development in automotive sector first one is the autonomous vehicle second one is the connected vehicle third one is electric and as well as the fourth one is shared so these are the four main domains that automotive sector is focusing and developing in this field because we need a shared vehicle and we have lot of traveling through shared vehicle you can say ola uber these kind of things are increasing electric vehicle is increasing because we want to be less dependent on the oil and you can say for fossil and fuels and we want to consume the electricity generated by our renewable resources so these kind of things are being preferred in the automotive sector and we are moving towards a new technology to minimize the accidents and as well as to increase the comfort as you can see autonomous vehicle and connected vehicles are two kinds of domain which will increase your comfort which will increase your convenience and it will give you a more comfort in, in terms of driving it and enjoying your ride while you're moving from one place to another so these are the four major domains of the future of automotive sector so in these all kind of vehicles we have around you can as my previous video regarding the connected vehicle and OTA we talked about different kind of uh, issues that are going to involve so in coming future we are going to see about 100 ECUs or you can say around a cumulative of you can say 50 ECU for different kind of areas and these ECU will contain about 300 billion lines of code the present scenario is like we have around 24 ECUs and in this we also have to face a very great problem regarding recalling and basically we have to recall our vehicle due to some of the software problems in my previous video about OTA if you haven't watched that video first watch that video will get to know about what I'm talking in here so in that video we talked about in uh, 2018 around 15 percent of vehicle that were recalled was because of the software problem so you can see if you are using uh, 24 ECUs and we have around you can say 30 to 60 billion line of code and if we are increasing it by 300 you can see the complication and the problems that we are going to face and we need to make these kind of vehicles more secure so that in the coming future if somehow someone is trying to hack your vehicle because it's going to not only in, uh, impact the consumer but as well as the all over the surrounding that vehicle has been driven uh, you must have watched the video fast and furious in that they basically hijack all different kind of vehicle and drive it according to their will so these kind of things are possible in future as we are moving toward connected vehicle and we are involving much more kind of telematic control units so we need to work on cyber security and we need Need to have a proper cyber security chain so that we can block these kind of peoples so if you're talking about uh, cyber security now we need to look about the growth the growth of the cyber security will be around 7% per year if you are talking about by 2030 you must have uh, read about these graphs these graphs shows that basically by you can say 2020 we have around 250 billion vehicles connected connected vehicles in terms of different kind of things not in terms of basically v2x v2g or v2i but in terms of having a telematic control in it all over the globe but after 2030 we are going to see a majority of 500 billion vehicles and the growth R is at 7% per 
year so you can see the amount of security and the pace at we need to work in these kind of scenarios are much more important and it will be important for automotive industry to gain the customers because with the time i am educating and we will be sharing this video with your loved ones you will get to know about this automotive cyber security how it works and how what is the steps that automotive industry is taking so these kind of things will help the auto, uh, your consumer as well as creating the demand in the industry and you will ask for your vehicle to be more cyberly secure so that whenever you are driving it you don't have any kind of hesitation that your data is being uh, stolen and your vehicle is being controlled by someone else rather than you're driving by your so if you're talking about the need of cyber security there are 20 in 2020 we have 100 million line of code by 2030 it will be 300 million as i told you and the fighter jet have around 20 5 million so you can see the difference fighter jet which is one of the most luxurious vehicle you can say or you can say the most expensive items that a person can hold is only have about 25 billion of line of codes but if you're talking about cars in future we have around 300 million line of code and in 2020 20 we have around 100 million so you can see the jump you can see the uh, you can see the data that we are going to consume the amount of work that that an automotive engineer are placing it so if you're talking about cyber security there are three main domains first one is in vehicle software that we need to make sure it is secured after that OEM backend services that are to be secured intact by cloud servicing OTA comes into this uh, area and if you haven't watched my previous video on OTA please watch that video you will get to know about what OTA is how it works and why we need cyber security you will get to know about the rough idea of the OTA and after that we have to get intact and make the cyber security as well as important for the third party softwares so in this we have different kind of things first we in vehicle talking about we have to make sure that our all ECUs are intact because there is a block of chain if you're talking about TCU TCU is the main head after that it will connect connect to several different kind of ECUs and these issues can be hacked and can be malfunctioned by using different kind of techniques in the next slide i'm going to talk about these kind of things that happened over the past you can say two three years and several different kind of things have came around in the automotive industry that shows that we need to work on the cyber security at a very good pace and at very good level and maintain the integrity as well as the command of systems that we have to control so in this oem if you're talking about cloud service cloud service contain ota over the air technology tesla used this technology to basically manage all different kind of tech uh, you can say software update you must have heard about different kind of games uploading on their infotainment system uploading different kind of uh, softwares to increase the security as well as enhancing and uh, you can say decoding their different kind of products enhancement o o tesla used this ota to basically generate their uh, autopilot system in their uh, already driven road on the roads so third party is more like having a gas station charging such as toll gates charging station because we are moving towards more you can say electric vehicles so we need to make sure that our all softwares and all the data cannot be hacked using the charging system because charging system is being connected to and uh, you can say bms and that bms basically communicate in regular with the ecu and if somehow someone can manipulate the BC, uh, bms which is battery management system it can easily manipulate your ecu and get the data and get the all kind of security access in your vehicle so these kind of things need to be made make sure that we don't have any problem and after that we need to have a dcu domain control unit domain control unit is one of the most important thing which will communicate between your vehicle to the network area and which will communicate with different kind of infrastructure that we are developing in the automotive industry to increase the safety as well as the convenience so i hope you enjoyed uh, till now that we have talked about these kind of things and if you have any suggestion feel free to give it down below so now we will talk about different scenarios that happened over the two to three years that basically motivated the automotive industry to move towards the cyber security to enhance the vehicle as well as to give uh, the customer a satisfaction so that their vehicle is safe whenever they are driving so in 2018 the researcher basically controlled all the vehicle and gained the local control access using telematic control unit infotainment system and can bus. so you can see these kind of things have been happened by at a control area but they are happening they are testing it because they want to develop different kind of phases and different kind of things will be demonstrated in the future and the vehicle need to be developed uh, keeping in mind all different areas that vehicle is to be helped and is to be used in now next one is this researcher exploited the vulnerability of some infotainment system gain control of microphone speakers and navigation system 
it's okay it's again one of the most most important thing that you need to work on if somehow you are driving your vehicle you're talking to someone and you're being listened by your microphone and different kind of things it will harm your security as well as your information that you are sharing so it can be dangerous and it basically decrease different kind of things and different decrease the customer value towards the company so companies are working toward it and after that in 2015 researchers remotely sent command to can bus of a specific car that had obd2 dongle which is most common in the automotive industry and they control the vehicles windshield wiper and brakes so you can see if your vehicle is driven you are some researcher or some black hat people can basically control your vehicle by controlling your wipers which can irritate your driving and by braking your vehicle which can basically stop your vehicle at any place any time whenever they want it so these kind of things are happening and we have different kind of areas you can stop this video over and you can read different kind of scenarios such as oem backend services infrastructure third party enterprises technology you can say hack of an oem automotive cloud via third party and the tire one supply network so you can see that it's going to create a majority of problem in the future memory vulnerability such as exposing data include uh, exposing uh, exposed data including password api keys and token so these kind of things are happening and we need to work toward all these kind of things so that we can have a proper it's more like and cell phone uh, you can say your private data would be stored in your vehicle and you're going to share a lot of data more data than your cell phone to your vehicle so we need to work on these kind of things and if you are few students and if you want to basically spread this knowledge send this video to your loved ones just right now and let them watch this video so that if they're buying their vehicle or a new vehicle they will get to know what they need to be look in the 2020 century or you can say from 2021 to till 2020 30 because we are going to see a huge change in automotive industry in respect to major four domains so you can see different kind of things are evolving and we are working in different areas in the next video i'm going to talk about different developing phase and if the areas we are talking about in the future is the cyber risk management security by design detection and responses safe and secure update so in the next video we will discuss about these kind of four points in future uh, or what are the things that automotive industry are doing to basically maintain this area because these are the four major areas that we need to work on if you're talking about automotive industry to be developed from starting to end these are the four stages and we will discuss about this in the coming videos so i hope you enjoyed this video till here and if you love this video or have any feedback regarding this and if you want me to communicate with you and have a healthy discussion on these kind of topics you can follow me on inter on any social media and you can comment down below in this video so i hope you enjoyed this video till now peace